All right, so this video here is about really perfecting your template. If this is probably the most critical part of the project, because if you don't have your template perfected and you move forward and make multiples, maybe 40, 50, 60, 70 of these things, and they're all different variations of each other and just your template's not perfect, it's just gonna be a disaster. So you really have to focus on this and perfect your template. I can't stress that enough. Um, so you can kind of see here, I, this is a, um, this is what this, this form here is a repetition. Let me start over. This is a single cell, one of these little guys. And this is um, a radial design, repeating the same single cell over and over again. This is just an idea um, that I came up with after exploring the um, single cell form. We're not at that point yet, but the reason I'm showing you this is because when you do glue these together, you want these to be able to glue together consistently. So it is critical that you have your individual template perfect. And you can repeat that same perfection each and every time when you make another one. So I'm just gonna put this on the side for a second. I'm gonna talk about these three guys. Um, I talk about this in some of the um, other videos, but I'm just gonna really focus now. So this was my model that I made. Oh wait, this is two ones together. Sorry. <laughs> That away. This is the model that I made that was really rough, right? This is kind of when I was cutting and inventing and putting a plane next to one and just trying to see what I could do and be like, oh, there's my form. That's my invented form. And you can kind of see what the invented form looks like. It's right there. Um, from there, I traced this out and I tried to perfect everything. And you can kind of see right here, I have, um, uh, a D on top of a D, so D and D is a seam that meets up. B and B is a seam that meets up, so B meet, meets with B. So this is kind of the rough version. And then once I do a couple iterations of it, um, I'm just gonna keep this, no, no, that's not important. A couple iterations of it until I perfect it. Um, with tabs, and once I make it with tabs, and then I can start to fold this form together without gluing it and just say, oh, this works out. Every seam is exactly the same length that's gonna meet. So if C meets with C, it meets perfectly. The other thing I wanna stress too, when you're inventing form, invention is not cutting out a negative space. That's a decoration. That's decorating a plane. Invention is, I want you to make a, a platonic solid. I want this to be a solid um, form and uh, not having an opening in there. So uh, refrain from when you think about inventing something to cut open a section and say, oh, well, that's invented. That's good enough. I'm going to tell you to go back and enclose that section um, and maybe pull out an appendage or something like that. So, um, so you want to check all of your seams and just make sure all the seams line up and that if you were able to glue this together, so you can just tape this together with your blue tape, um, which is right here, with your blue tape and you can tape it together to see if it kind of works. And then you're like, Hey, this works. This is perfect. Um, this, I'm going to title this my master template with tabs. After that, you go back to the drawing board, you can trace it out, but you, this, you need to make a master template without tabs. And this is the master template that you're going to trace every time and repeat on top of a piece of Bristol board um, each and every, every time. The master template with tabs is only there for as a guide to know where to add the tabs on. Do not trace the master template with, with tabs because you're tracing the tabs and you're not tracing the lines. The lines is the most important part. That's the edge of the form that's where you're gonna fold. The tabs could be poorly cut. That's not a big deal. They're gonna be hidden. They're only there to connect two planes together. But it's good to have a master template with tabs so when you draw your tabs on, you'll have that um, um, guide. So this is what you're gonna repeat every time. But if you make your master template and you haven't um, perfected it, 
D matches with D and B matches with B and C matches with C and A matches with A and all that stuff. Um, and it doesn't fold up perfectly and, there, and the seams aren't tight. You have to go back and redraw it. You have to perfect it. Once it's perfected, then you can just have this master template and then you can um, trace out, trace out, trace out. So this part of the project is really important. You really have to perfect it. Make those final, final adjustments. Um, I can't stress that enough. So when you do enter this stage, you can start to put these together pretty easily. Um, I was just looking at this form here. This is a, a pre-cut template or a, a pre-designed template, and it kind of comes together perfectly. This is how perfect your invented form should come together as well. I'm going to show you one more thing. This is another invented form that I created. There's a few things here that I'm not satisfied with. I don't like how it bends right here, right? And then there's um, right here, it kind of like this corner comes out a little bit. And this seam here is not equivalent length to this seam. However, it folded and glued together, but if I were to make multiples of these, it would give me problems later on. So I would, before I commit to this form, I'd go back to the drawing board and make sure that all of my edges or seams lined up perfectly. So this right here should definitely be a little wider. Um, and then maybe that was just a problem I had with gluing. That could have been a construction issue. Um, and then right here seems to be a problem too. So there's a couple problem areas here that I'd have to fix. Uh, and then that's it during this stage here. So if you have any other questions, please let me know.